I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast for your quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today's fun fact of the day has to do with food. Did you know that the word sandwich comes from the Earl of Sandwich? John Montague was the fourth Earl of Sandwich and lived in the 1700s. He started this craze of eating a beef slice packed between two slices of bread. And the story goes that the Earl of Sandwich was playing a game of cards, and he did not want to leave the game to eat his meal. So he asked for a slice of roast beef to be placed between two slices of bread, and thus the sandwich was born. This way, he could hold it in one hand and continue playing with the other, and thus the sandwich was born. Now. Many of you may already know this story because I knew of this when I was a child. So it might not be a new fun fact, but I will share something else with you. And this is going to crack you up because this made me fall off my chair. Did you know that an attempt was made at the world record for the largest sandwich ever, and it was in Iran back in two thousand eight? Now, alas, we never will know if it was successful or not, as the whole attempt was running late. And just before the whole thing could be measured and weighed, the impatient crowd that had assembled rushed in and ate up the sandwich. Now imagine how crappy that show organizer would be feeling. How would he even share this bad news with others? Well, let me share with you how I would have done it. I would have used the sandwich method of giving feedback or bad news. You see what I did there. <laughs> You see, the sandwich method of feedback is a very simple and easy tool that is taught to most new budding managers. Once they become managers, they need to learn to give feedback about things to others. And very often, we are not used to giving feedback. It can come across very rude. It can demotivate the team member, or it can come across as blaming something for someone doing something, or it can very quickly come across as blaming someone for something. And this turns into a blame game, or as we say in Hindi, "tu tu me me." You did this, I did that. So instead of falling into these traps and issues, we can use the sandwich method of giving feedback. So you basically sandwich the bad news or the bad feedback between two pieces of good news or good feedback. It would go something like this: Hey, did you hear? We had the largest turnout of any sandwich festival in Iran. However. We did not get the world record because the same crowd ate up the sandwich before it was measured. But the good thing is that the press found this very interesting, and we are on all the front pages of the newspaper. And in this way, that terrible news is shared in a less damaging way. You can do the same thing for feedback as well. Let's say your subordinate has given you a really bad presentation. You would start with something like this. You know, I really appreciated that you submitted the presentation on time. However, the ideas lack depth, and more thought is needed for them. What I liked were the images that you used to tell the story. In this way, the negative is not in your face. Imagine if I had just said your presentation was not good, the ideas lacked depth and understanding. I would have probably made that person cry. So your super simple habit for giving feedback or bad news at work or at home or in any aspect of life is to use the sandwich method: good news, bad news, good news. The habit will greatly improve your interpersonal skills. One word of caution, though: don't overuse it, or else people will catch on, and every time you share good news with them, they will think now something bad is about to come. Usually, in a podcast, it's me who speaks to you and you who listens. But I've been seeing your comments, and it's time. It's me listening to you. Following the overwhelming success of this podcast, the good folks at IVM Podcast Network have decided to come up with a Kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language. Do make sure you let your Kannada-speaking friends know about this as well. Now, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM Network. You can listen to us on the IVM Podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos, and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now. 
Hello, hello, hello. It's been another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. On the second episode of Do What Floats Your Boat, Danish is joined by Shantanu Maheshwari. He shares his experiences from the world of dance. On Pesa Vesa, Anupam talks to Sachin Shah. He's the fund manager at MK Investment Managers Limited, and they talk about investment support. On all things policy, the Takshashila folk discuss the pros and cons of geoengineering. On the habit coach, Ashton shares tips on how not to give in to your temptations. And on the life manifesto, Zarina explains the importance of rewiring and reorganizing your brain. Before I leave, I just want to remind you all that we have some amazing merchandise for you guys. Please go to our website, click on the shop tab and check out the collection of t-shirts. Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Don't forget to rate us on any other platforms you're listening to us. And remember, you can also check us out on YouTube. We're also doing a small listener survey, which helps us understand who you all are. I mean, our listeners. And we'd really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to fill it out. It helps us build better shows for you. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Boat Lifestyle, Small Case, Cap Gemini, and Intel VPro. Thank you so much for making this possible. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people, and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey, where you can fill out the survey.